I came back from Singapore uh, years ago and my uncle picked me up at the airport in a brand new, just delivered Mark 10. And I sat in it and I looked at all that walnut and all that leather, but one day I'm gonna have a Jaguar. And uh, I think I'm on my 12th. I fell in love with them, I suppose, when my uncle had a brand new one just after the war. Then I rode in a Mark 5 in about 1952 and then I followed while I was at school all the successes at the moment. They're iconic, it's, it's, they've always been, you know, whatever, whatever William Lyons used to do, the Jaguars were always that bit different from your ordinary run of the mill cars. It's, uh, it, it's just, I don't know, it's just something that you grow up with. <laughs> it's just great to come and see all the cars and all the faces that you see as you go round because um, I do go to the shows north and south of the country, which is great. And you're just seeing people all the time that you recognise and just have a nice chin wag, it's lovely. When you've had an E-Type, there's nothing like it. It's just a unique car to drive, the comfort, the speed, just the power of it and the, the looks of it. It's just a fantastic car. 1953, I went over to Belgium with it, got ram air to the carburetors, undersealed it, and uh, the tyres, we put up to 50 pound pressure, buffed the tread off, so we got low friction on the tires, and uh, we took the record at up to 172.4 with the car of this. So that in it, it's got a lot of memories for me, this car, these 120 car, yeah. Okay, we came from, uh, from Castle Bromwich this morning in a cavalcade of 10 Jaguars with uh, 10 of our long-serving employees who had the opportunity to drive from Castle Bromwich into Coventry this morning. Fantastic, yeah, it was, uh, it was a thrill. Uh, and being in the, uh, the cavalcade of vehicles coming along the road, all, all Jaguars, it was just fantastic, real experience. I'm really looking forward to the trip down to, to the Cotswolds and then on to Mayfair tonight. And then of course we've got Goodwood tomorrow, so we've got the run down to Goodwood, uh, hopefully to watch some fantastic racing.
we have these fantastic icons that were penned by Sir William Lyons. This car was actually drawn by Sir William Lyons. And we look back to these icons, the XKs, the D-types, the C-types, that have so much richness of design. So to actually be part of these uh, cars today, be amongst these cars today, is very stimulating. So undoubtedly, I'll be taking this day back to the drawing board with me at some point in the future. We left Coventry, Coventry Transport Museum, and of course Coventry's the spiritual home of Jaguar, and drove down here to, uh, to the vineyard and uh, we've had a great drive, uh, some super roads really, and uh, we're in the C-type, so what could be better? It's been great, really, really lovely, lovely journey down. Particularly through the Cotswolds this morning, it was spectacular, really good. I had a Russian journalist with me and he just, he just loved it, took in everything, so uh, it was fabulous. Tremendous honour, isn't it? And um, the old girl's done well, she got me here, get me to Goodwood tomorrow, meet lots of interesting people and um, see lots of nice cars that have been well looked after. I was able to drive this wonderful XK120 to see this as a friendly demonstration for uh, powerful and iconic cars in the heart of London. This was great. But arriving in London has been particularly pertinent to me because in 1968 and 69 I used to drive around this very part of London in a 1968 S-Type Jaguar which at that time was a police car. But meeting new friends and acquaintances, all with the same passion for Jaguar, is absolutely wonderful. To drive through the countryside and seeing all the other Jaguars overtaking or us overtaking them, and the CD type, Nub 120, they're always a thrill to see them go past you. So yes, it was, it was an excellent day, a day not to be forgotten. And to me, it's like a crescendo. It's gradually all coming together, you know, and because this wonderful dinner this evening, you know, it's just perfect. It's a dream, someone that's in, interested in Jaguar, this has to be the ultimate experience in many, many ways. To see all these fabulous cars and to be part of the heritage of it, when you think 75 years and last night we were in the same room again, that Sir William launched the Jaguar name all these years ago, so it really was very special. 
wonderful experience. Uh, feel very privileged to, to have been chosen to come along on part of motoring history. It was a very special event yesterday evening to celebrate the 75th anniversary of Chegra. It was a, a special event showing that out of a nameplate can be created a brand, a global brand. And this we celebrated yesterday evening. It's, it's hard to actually put it into words the last sort of 48 hours. It's, it just seems so much longer. We've, we've met people from all over the world. They've traveled hundreds of thousands of miles with their cars just to turn up and celebrate Jaguar's 75th anniversary. It's been a great privilege. Smiles on people's faces from start to finish. It's been awesome, really special.